Hello and a warm welcome to this very special program in connection with uh, the Lincoln University graduation and uh, it's certainly going to be a momentous occasion for all the graduates and we're extremely happy that we have with us in the studio two very special individuals. The first is the founder and president of the Lincoln University Malaysia, Professor Dr. Amiya Baumik. And the other personality is Dr. Roshan de Lima, Country Director of the Lincoln University, Sri Lanka and the United Arab Emirates. Warm welcome to, to, to the two of you. It's lovely having you here with us. And uh, I must mention the fact that uh, we love to have you here being the founder, president of the Lincoln University of Malaysia. When was your last visit? Uh, I was here first? last year when we had our graduation. And it was a wonderful occasion and people enjoyed, I enjoyed, I saw that how people were happy to receive our degree at the graduation ceremony. And I was uh, proud and privileged to be the compere as well it on is. this very special occasion. Uh, Professor, when did you all start operations in Malaysia? In Malaysia, we started in 2002 with only three floors, three students. Wow. And with a very, very minimum capital. But what I had, the dream of taking the education in many parts of the world, that was the dream I had. And I think today, I'm very happy we have achieved such dream. Almost 30 over countries, we are offering program. Awesome. And I'm proud my one of the program in Somalia, Magadeshu, which I started in 2014. And that time civil war was in the peak. And uh, my family members, especially my sister, the faculty members, they wouldn't allow me to go. So I had to little lie come story. I went there and I started in 2014. Today, my students from Somalia, they graduate from the program. They are working for United Nations Peacekeeping Force. They migrate to European countries, US, UK, with Lincoln degree and settle. That's what. That's wonderful. It brings you so much of happiness after you've achieved that. I know. It, it, indeed. It, indeed. Uh, professor, uh, now we are talking about education. Why education when there were so many other avenues for you? Why did you start on education? You know, Faisal, very simple. We are human beings. I always tell that as a human being, you are a temporary tourist in this world. We all know that. So as a tourist, you do something for the society. You have come here for how many years you want to live? maybe 100 plus. But during that time, you as a human being is nothing but you are created by Supreme Almighty. I'm sure you believe in something Supreme Almighty. Definitely I do. So if you do believe in that and we all have to leave this world. So if I go into other business, yes, we are talking about making money living in materialistic world luxuriously and go back. But when you die, do you think that materialistic world, what you have gained by the business, would it go with you? But what will go with you? And that's the education which you can create an impact in the society and the society will develop. The United Nations have come up 17 SDG, 17 Sustainable Development Goal. Now, only the education which you can literally create an impact on to those 17 SDG. And you are literally grooming your brothers, sisters, neighbors, grandfathers, mothers, whatever into at creating a good human being. Now, when you leave this world, this temporary earth as a tourist, those people will say, hey, man, 
Amiya came in this world, Faisal came in this world, have done something for us, he has gone back, that have done something for that, that is the assets, that is the blessings which you are going to take with you. So, if I go into other businesses, this is not going to go with me. But so, that is a good deed. Eh? Indeed. <laughs> and and that is what I call, we all should be working towards that. Now, do you at the Lincoln University have a vision and a mission which you would like to spell out? Absolutely. Our vision is very simple. Each and every human being has every right to have higher education. That is our vision. And with that vision, we are going all over the world. So, uh, uh, I believe Dr. Darshan will cover later on that he has that. He said, you know, all foreign universities, they would be asking lots of huge amount of tuition fees, but Lincoln University does not do that. Yeah, I am going to touch on the monetary aspect as well, which is I think uh, of utmost importance uh, for parents uh, when they have got to educate their children. Now, you touched on Lincoln University branching into over 30 countries. Now, here in Sri Lanka, I think we are today is with pre the present setup, we find a brain drain as you may call it. A lot of people try to leave the country. Uh, now, they would love to probably, uh, you know, be educated in a foreign country. Well, uh, have you by any chance ventured down to, to countries like Australia, England and oh other yeah. countries? We are starting our Australian campus in Sydney this year and we have two programs, Bachelor of Business Information System and Master of Business Information System. So, it is more IT related and once they graduate, they will be able to work and, and the beauty part of Australian government, they give post graduation work permit and as a result, they can grow themselves in Australia and eventually they will be able to settle. And that is our uh, big Opportunities thing. that you are affording these students. Absolutely, absolutely. And the beauty part of it, since Lincoln University Malaysia already in Sri Lanka, so Sri Lankan students via this uh, Malaysian approach, they can have credit transfer, they can come to Australia, they can come to Malaysia. So, they can study six months here, Six, six months in Sri Lanka, six months in Malaysia and then complete in Australia. So, they are taking through a transition and the money wise, the cost wise slowly, slowly reduce. So, parents do not feel the burden sending directly to Australia and at least the child is adjusting and adapting the international environment. Pizer. That's so, parents, I know you are all watching us right now and this is a question that I thought would be apt at this time because uh, we are talking about a degree. Why, uh, why uh, uh, Malaysia, Australia, we can do it here, right here in Sri Lanka, what is special with the Lincoln University compared to all the other degree awarding let me tell you, Lincoln University's education system, very much few important criteria we look at Pfizer. That critical thinking and hands-on skill, very important. And the community development, that you as a human being, you cannot live alone in this society. So, you are just studying and getting degree and get the job and that is it. No. We want you to develop critical thinking, critical analytical mind through various hands on skill. I do not want you to have memorized and then if you are an engineer or if you are a computer specialist and then you get a degree and then you cannot write any programming or you cannot prepare any kind of hardware and etc. No point of having that. So, what we emphasize? First, the critical thinking and critical thinking in a sense that more on to peace and conflict resolution of the society and then 
we emphasize on to skill, hands on skill. And third, we make sure you are involved with community and that is where the United Nations 17 SDG come into play. So, in our curriculum, every student need to be an entrepreneur. Uh, this is a very emphasize. Uh, the meaning of entrepreneur, what we emphasize by Zal over there, it is not just starting a business, making profit. No, meaning of entrepreneur that how you can take the risk, how you can be adventurous. If an entrepreneur, they will never ever say that they have a problem in their life. The entrepreneur will say that I have a challenge. So, in other words, you are saying that at the Lincoln University, well, if they do a degree in terms of business management or whatever, you make them uh, good future entrepreneurs, right? Indeed. That is what it is. So, we make them see that they can be self-confident. They can stand on their own feet. That is our motto. So, entrepreneur in a sense that they should not be a job seeker rather job creator. That is our main motto of Lincoln University College. We offer medical, we offer dental, we offer pharmacy, nursing, physiotherapy, engineering, technology. No matter what you study at Lincoln, you have to go through entrepreneurship module. I would actually emphasize the fact because I know I have been very close to Malaysia. When you go to Malaysia, I know for sure you can do your degree in English. Am I correct? Yeah, of course. So that in our university, English is a mandatory. English is a mandatory and we do not allow, we do not allow to speak any other languages at all. The beauty part of doing any qualifications in Malaysia, not only medicine, that our Lincoln University is worldwide recognized, very important. That is very important, yes. Second thing, those who are doing medical degree with us in Malaysia, not only our medical degree of Malaysia is recognized uh, by Sri Lankan Medical Council, including they can appear for US medical licensing examination in US. So, does this uh, uh, facility also uh, is going to be afforded in Australia as well, the medical degree? Eventually, slowly, Eventually. not now, we are starting now. In the long run, definitely. Uh, the next year, we are looking into more into uh, community health, community service, social work, nursing, early child care, education in Australia. But in Malaysia, we have 150 over programs. Now, medical students from Sri Lanka who will be coming to Malaysia, they are getting as much as 50 percent of scholarships. Wow, that is amazing. That which they cannot think. And then, what is most important, it is in English medium, unlike other countries. Like I mentioned, yes. Yeah. And Sri Lanka and Malaysia almost same weather, three and a half hours flying, the parents can come any time to, to Malaysia or students something happen, they can come, but other countries you have lots of difficulties. I agree. And, 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 and beauty part of it is our curriculum, curriculum three years clinical and two years preclinical. So, the three years clinical, we take them away completely from the city and put them into the hospital environment. On a daily basis, they have to go to the hospital and it is a very intensive training and we have a very good record. The students who have uh, passed out our medical degree on the fifth year, immediately they go and write the UK PLAR exam, the UK MRCP exam and they clear and I am proud of this. Of See what I do Faisal? The medical students when they come to our campus, I try to see them and my benchmark to them, I say look, you are my student, I want to be treated by you. <laughs> that is the standard. I, I said, that. I do not want to go to any doctors. So, you understand now. 
So that is our standard and I am proud and any student, medical students or any students at Lincoln University, they know they cannot come to me if they fail, nobody because they will have a fantastic answer, nobody comes to me. But what when they come to me, when they have a money problem, uh, that you know I do help them. But any kind of academic progression and etc., no way. But well, that is very important, you know, you spoke about the monetary aspect because especially in today's context, they are definitely going to have that face that situation, which most other universities do not help out when it comes to those issues. So, you know, I am happy that Lincoln is doing it. Yeah, you know, at Lincoln. Going what, with the name of Abraham Lincoln, yes, why not? You know, uh, at Lincoln, what we look at this, I mean, when I choose the name Lincoln University, um, I am a big fan or big follower of Swami Vivekananda. I am sure Vivekananda in this part of the world everybody knows him, a great philosopher. He, he you know, his, his philosophy was work is worship, another is believe in yourself. The most important why I choose to be in education industry, Vivekananda's philosophy man making education. Now, man making education, if you look at the entire universal religion that you are a divine soul, each and every human being is a potentially divine soul and the meaning of education is to manifest that divinity which you have within yourself. So, the manifestation of divinity, now the current education, what you said, the all this education is how quickly I finish my degree and get the job and get married and that is it. But that is not the true meaning of education and that is in Sanskrit called Aparabhidya. But in Parabhidya Sanskrit that you yourself is a divine entity. So, the purpose of education is to manifest that divinity which already exists within you and this is why when I chose Lincoln because I used to teach at Lincoln University in US and I studied President Abraham Lincoln's life philosophy. So, my goal was to take the education globally. So, if I put the Vivekananda name, nobody would know. But if I put Lincoln which he wanted that each and every human being should be given higher education. And if I put Vivekananda philosophy and Lincoln together, they are the same. So, that is where I have given Lincoln. Very name. moving and really touching when you spoke of it because I think education is so very meaningful. It is it's a way of you know enhancing one's knowledge. Well, uh, uh, Dr. Roshan, coming back to you now. Uh, when did you take the reins over here as uh, the uh, country director of uh, Lincoln University? Well, <coughs> thank you Faisal. I just wanted to add, uh, before I got into your question, I just want to add something what Prof was talking here. The beauty part, I was talking about uh, the monetary aspect of things. I must tell you one thing, what Prof has spoken. He did talk about it. He yes. did not talk about that. First, I must you know, touch and be thankful to this great gentleman and the philosopher. We as a nation, we have about 2000, 2500 plus students who are with Lincoln studying undergraduate, postgraduate, different levels, you name it, you know, you name it. Starting from a school lever up to a doctoral degree, PhD, senior government officers, you name it, all are with us. So, as a COVID, it was a hit all around the globe, it's a pandemic, as you know. We were a little more affected than the other countries, as you know. Definitely. Yeah, we were more hit, basically. In terms of monetary. Monetary followed by the economical turmoil that we all had experienced in this country and you know like you and I we have been known. So, I do not think any international university supported the children. We were talking about the graduation tomorrow. I do not think even 50 percent of the students would be there if not 
the university had helped them had helped them i must tell you something faisal if you look at the international school the annual tuition fees for a school k12 education we charge undergraduates less than that for the entire program <laughs> i must tell that that's what it's then i went to cover i'll come to the question real original question that because i want to touch that area i want to be thankful because see today for some reason i'm getting five or 10 calls for a day people want to run our programs campuses here they want to set up in our names they want to have our programs we already have good partners who we are operating friends but why they are coming they have so they have seen the value that we have added during the hardship times what we have done value how addition we, certainly value matters how we have done it especially when people were when when the hour of the need basically so when i took this to the management professor helped me a lot in that aspect it's not one man's show end of the day you know that how it exactly. works it's, it's a more it's a team work and then prof took this baton i would say and he took this baton and said yes we need to help sri lanka students that is where it started it didn't end there it didn't end there then we it went down to a situation where medical degrees where he said as you said there is a big dearth here about medical degrees students do go and suffer you know that i don't have to tell countries i don't know to spell out the words and all even i didn't want to because i just yeah, yes, was I talking just, about the yes, language i didn't <laughs> want to spell out the words and all <laughs> but generally speaking we know all the quality how it is but malaysia i must tell any university in malaysia medical colleges they are really good i'm not talking about generally i i spoke about malaysia i've visited malaysia yes. many many occasions i know it's all english oriented yes and also the quality of medical uh, standards set up there is very high i must tell that that's very important that's very high compared to other some other countries exactly there. only thing that students see the affordability because some of the people ask me why why don't we see medical doctors in sri lanka studied in lincoln i would say look this time last year for some reason i was able to secure 50% scholarship of the tuition fees you're talking Be about scholarship yes why do you all uh, offer these scholarships to the students and what's the necessity okay let me tell that uh, <laughs> uh, let me let me tell you you see uh, this is exactly the uh, the students parents always want to judge or give the value of a university how big building they have <laughs> but is that the value of education building or the knowledge what you give see our policy has been that we are in education business so if i want to put up a big building then i am diverting my core value of business from education to real estate the danger of current education industry that the owner they tend to get the cash money when they tend to get the cash money they divert that cash money into real estate in the name of oh big land big building and etc etc now when you do that and this is where during the covid lots of educational institutions had to shut down because they have taken that cash of tuition fees from the students and created huge real estate when you do other avenues correct then they cannot pay the lecturer salary they cannot maintain and shut down so what our lincoln policy no such thing real estate only education only education so when you you look into that so therefore this if that is the purpose so we want the students to come and have education and if our policy not if our vision is every human being has a right to have higher education so the vision is guiding us if if i want to get sri lankan students how many can afford full fees in malaysia medical students that's why you give them these correct it's a link with our vision 
you cannot run away for because one side I'm telling that every human being has a right to have higher education. And good question. How do you choose these uh, scholarship recipients? Is it on their merits? Their merits. merits. That's the most important. We have about told only about four minutes left on our program. So very quickly, uh, from both of you, Professor Dr. Babik, you first, and then uh, Dr. Roshan, why choose Lincoln University? They are talking about rankings today. Parents are very concerned about rankings and you know recognition. But why? choose Lincoln University to any other university? Few important criteria. The United Nations 17 SDG, which is very important for all educational institution and Lincoln very much emphasized those 17 SDG. And one of the SDG number four is quality education. So SDG number four Lincoln education, Lincoln University throughout the world ranking, we have achieved 53, SDG number 4. Amazing. This is one. Second thing, we emphasize students to become an entrepreneur and upon getting our qualification, we want them to be job creators, not job seekers. So that means you must create something so you are not depending anyone so they are programming and thirdly as i said what vivekananda proposes what says each and every human being is a potentially divine and the purpose of education is to manifest that divinity and divinity meaning a perfect human being the talent the human being is not for killing people is human being is to create something human being happily peacefully live on this earth and helping others that's the true meaning of education so that's where the lincoln university comes in. stands out thank you dr roshan your perspective on this yes. final question why choose lincoln exactly okay. see first thing as prof said i'll add something to it affordability, international curricula delivered across the country. We have different levels. Faisal, if you see, we have state of art campus in Colombo, we have state of art campus in metropolitan cities and also we have campuses in villages also where students have access. Quality is not compromised, delivered by the same lecturer, quality assessment is done by the university equally, equally. So, like what Prof said, it is not about the building, it is not about the infrastructure. What matters is what is happening inside. Otherwise, you must see hundreds and thousands of acres owned universities must be ranking number one. No, that is not the story. So, be a whatever, bit whatever you brought <laughs> out today is why everybody, the parents should be choosing Lincoln Faisal, University. I have not finished yet. I need to add something else also. Yeah, very quickly because very quickly. we have time's up. Yes. See, Students, why they should choose us, they have three options. One, they can study and gain a degree in Sri Lanka. Two, they can go to Malaysia and study there in Malaysia. Three, they can go to Australia, study and settle in Australia. Three options. You must be asking, if you can get the same degree here in Sri Lanka, why go to Malaysia, Australia? Let me answer that quickly. See, the thing different is, the exposure that you get in different countries. I agree, I agree. Exposure. Everybody needs to have exposure. Overseas. Exposure. The cultural diversity, diversity and exposure. That matters. That's a matter. This exposure. Number two, when you want to migrate into Europe, if you have studied in Malaysia, that gives you additional advantage. And also when I am a, I'm a registered or I am a recognized registered consultant for foreign affairs, what I see, visa officer, what he looks when you want to go under the country, out of the country, the first thing that he look. Do you, have you studied overseas first? First thing you are going to make a decision to go to America or UK or Canada. The first thing they are going to look at like, why this guy has not gone out of the country first? Is he going to go for the first time? No, he has studied in Malaysia, his bachelor degree. He wants to go to masters and PhD in Canada. So he has exposure. The way he looks at his application and the way he looks at his application is quite different. 
So it's different. Believe me, because I have done many consulting. I've got a lot of visas for students. Not now, two decades back, before I started consulting. How I have seen how visa officers are handling the applications, because their perspective, their view of looking at this is simple. Uh, thank you, Professor Dr. Barmik and Dr. Roshan. Parents, everyone who's watching us right now. Well, you now know why you should be choosing the Lincoln University of Malaysia for their standout in all that was mentioned. Thank you very much for being with us, and uh, I'm sure Lincoln University of Malaysia is going to grow from strength to strength. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Faisal. Thank you. Thank you, Faisal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.